Today, we're going to be taking a look at some problematic TikTokers that started out as skits, but seems to have evolved into an area where they have blurred the line to where people are questioning whether these skits are real now and if this is okay content for them to be doing. And these skits that they're doing seem to revolve around DV content to where they are grifting their viewers into coming into their community and then they bait them getting donations and whatever else kind of sympathy they can from them with the end goal being money of course now the content creators that we're specifically talking about here is gnarly loves young low this is a family-based tiktok that has over 800,000 followers and their content isn't like your normal family content youtube vlog style that you would imagine it's more based around drama and drama in the case of dv or these dramas that they play out and act like they are in a situation where they're not really but they're there has been cases where it will be said on camera that these are no longer skits. None of that. So right. absolutely not. This is not a skit. And like I said, she's really mad. And when she sees this, I, I don't even know what she's going to do because this is like in our relationship because mm -hmm. she's my baby daddy. Right. I'm her baby mama. Mm -hmm. Right now, there's no, there's nothing between the lines where like me and you are cordial. So for context, she's talking about Laura here and they always do these skits where they fight and then don't hang out and then she's not around. And they try to get people to go to their Instagram where Gnarly is saying that don't go to the Instagram, don't go look at her story at all this stuff she's posting about me. And then on the Instagram, there'll be an OF link while she's on the phone with Laura in the background and Laura is over there shouting out the Instagram. And the comments here are, wow, are like, wow, this skit is still going. This skit is getting old and overplayed. Yeah, she says it's never a skit, but it's always a skit. And in one alarming video, she fakes a bruise on her face what's that what's that what Makeup. is that not everything you see is real y'all want me to be a dv survivor so bad y'all want my baby daddy to be the villain so bad what is that hold on let me show y'all again for the people what is this and for anyone wondering why i have this bite mark right here well, go to Instagram and find out, baby, because if you don't like your roof in the bed, that's your problem, not mine. The issue that I find with this is that it is a mockery to actual DV victims. And that's why I'd like to raise awareness and bring this to your attention. So that way you can avoid TikTok creators or content creators like this in general that are on these platforms. Hey, by the way, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below to help spread this video around and raise awareness on this subject. The woman you're going to see on camera most of the time is this woman here named Gnarly. And then you'll hear a voice behind the camera who is Young Glow, aka Laura Najum. And I apologize if I'm saying these names wrong. I'm probably butchering them. And they call themselves the Najum family. And like I said, their content revolves around some DV skits as well as what looks to be like degrading, humiliation, and just whatever else they can sink their teeth into. Now I'm about to play a video where you can see Gnarly playing into the skit where she's being degraded and she has riding all over her and she's shaving her eyebrow. That said, trigger warning to anybody that has been in some degrading DV situations like this. You're doing all this extra stuff. Why? Huh? Huh? You chose to be a young little baby mama. And you, what, what is wrong with you, man? Daddy, I'm not complaining about being a young little baby mama. I'm complaining because I feel like I'm not good enough for you. What you mean? Like, I let you cheat. I let you do whatever. I let you take my money. I give you everything. You cheat on me more than 70 times a week. Like, I let you do whatever you want. And I just feel like I'm still not good enough for you. And I know that you don't care about the pregnancy. I don't need you to care about the pregnancy. I just want your babies. You don't even have to be present. I promise you, I don't care. I just feel like I'm not good what's, enough hey, for you. Hey, what's That's that on your ch What's that on your chest? What's Daddy, that? This is what I'm getting ready for my tattoo appointment. What you talking about? What's like, wrong with you? I'm you always, get this hey, hey, bitch, Daddy is hey, watching. hey, hey, bitch. You hear me? Do you hear me? Hey, I'm speaking. When I speak, don't speak, hey. Right? Now you hear Laura talking to Gnarly is how they typically talk during these skits in all of their videos that they're doing. What is wrong with you, huh? What's wrong with me is that I feel like I'm not good enough for you, Daddy. You're I never just gonna make you, you happy. You'll, you'll never be good enough for me. I right? just want to make you happy, Daddy. Hey, shave, shave your eyebrow, then, bitch. Show me. This will make you happy. Dude, this is what I said? You gonna make me repeat myself? No, daddy. This will make you happy? That's what I Promise said. Me shaving my eyebrow? Bitch, did I just say that? Yes, did I just one, say left that? right. This one, daddy? That one right there. This makes you happy? Yeah. I just want to make you happy, daddy. So do what I say. I don't yeah. even need a mirror, daddy. Just do no what I say. I just need you, daddy. Come on, you're not doing good enough. Go down. Where, Go daddy? down, right there. Here? Yeah. Come on. 
Yeah, there you go. You're a good bitch. I don't know nothing good about daddy. Just you. There you go. Just you, daddy. You going? Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. No, daddy, I don't want to scratch up my Laura tattoo. Look here. Look here. Stop. You did good. Yeah. Daddy. Good, good bitch. Good girl. Is Round of applause. Round of applause. Good girl. Listen, I'm a young little doggy. Listen, I'm a young stop. Stop. Listen, let me tell you something, all right? Why, daddy, why? You a good baby mother. I'm going to continue to do what I do. I'm going to continue to cheat, do my thing. I know you like this feet. And you're going to be a loyal like bitch, yeah? Yes. You're going to hold it always. down, yeah? Of course, always. And I'm going to continue to do my I'll thing. always rep my baby daddy. Always rep my baby daddy. I know that's right, bitch. Now get out of my face, yeah? I'm going to go cheat on you, kid. That's what I do. You living good. You live in a big house. You get what you want, all right? Don't question me, all right? How do I look, daddy? You look hit like a trash bag, but that's how I like my hoe, yeah? All right, good hoe. You a good little bitch. I love you. To me, that's clearly disturbing content, and it's a wonder why or how that's even on the platform. Some important things to know is that on every single video that they upload, they have the comments turned off, and they do this so that way they don't have people in the comments scaring off possible top supporters, or as Gnarly calls them, boss babes. And they also have it in their live streams where you have to be a subscriber to even talk in the chat so they can control this narrative and have these people that come in and think that this is real and so support them, specifically supporting Gnarly and hoping that she gets out of this situation. And then you might ask yourself, well, what about those that see that it's a skit and find it to be humorous entertainment? Well, there is an issue there as well, where people are starting to notice that they have their kids around when they're doing these. And as you know, kids don't know the difference between real and fake. Where's the baby daddy? Where's the baby daddy? Where's the baby daddy? It's okay, Baba. It's okay. It's okay, you get upset when the baby daddy not here. Mommy cannot control that. Mommy got kicked out this morning in the house. Every time that daddy don't come to the play place, Junior gets like this. And then, when I tell you, baby, that daddy's not gonna come. Okay, when I, when I say daddy, 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 you calm down. You get upset when daddy not here. Mommy wants daddy here. Daddy don't wanna participate. She wanna kick me out the house. It's okay, Daddy. It's okay. Mommy love you. Mommy be the baby daddy. I know I'm not daddy, but I'll be the baby daddy. Y'all see, I take care of the baby by myself. I change the diaper by myself. I take them to the play place by myself. But it's cool, though, because I'm still getting the twins January 12th. Still getting two more January 12th. Yeah, papi, daddy. And some of the comments say, I've been saying the same thing, watching their videos drive me crazy. These kids that deserve better. It's so sad your partner, more important. Involving kids in this is so disgusting. This is sad. And then there's Gnarly's physical appearance, which has drastically changed since she started doing these skits with Laura, AKA Young Lo. ignoring the weight gain of course because she had kids and that's normal in pregnancy i think the most shocking thing from this is the tattoos that she got on her face of laura and the length she's willing to go for these skits shaving her eyebrow makeup all over her face making herself look crazy dyeing her hair to the point to where it's falling out and the way she just looks in her eyes overall it looks like it's mentally affecting her and that's why some people think that laura is actually mentally abusing her with some people saying laura just out here doing devil's work on all these women we think men are bad she broke her in every possible way. Where is her family? Hope she heals soon. It's crazy how meeting a person can impact your life in every way. When they say the devil is alive and well, this is proof that it's just so sad. This is actually pretty scary. I hope she gets the help she needs. So either way you look at this, it's disgusting because if it, even if it is fake and they're using DV as content, that is not a good thing to be doing. And obviously if she's being mentally abused and going through DV situations, that's not good either. But a lot of people are leaning more towards that this is 
is fake and they're using their audience, grifting their audience for all they have. There's even been a petition set up against them calling them scammers. Band scammers Laura Nigem and Gnarly Morales from TikTok. They have a goal of 2,500, currently at 1,713. And this is what just a few of the top supporters have to say. Hello, I'm here to voice my opinion on the so-called Najem family, which they're not even married, so they're not really a family. Um, I do not support them. I want them canceled due to the fact that they are just sitting there using DV and abuse and capitalizing on it and and glamorizing it to the younger generation. Every pregnancy, they fake abuse on Mag DV survivors just for more views and to gain more money for their OF. And um, it's a very weird fetish. And um, it's also really sickening. They call people peasants and they take people's money and laugh at them. Like, how do y'all how do y'all support that? That's disgusting. As well as a lot of comments saying the same thing. They're playing skits that promote violence and mental abuse towards women and what it is to be in a narcissistic relationship, make people feel bad for them giving them money. I am signing because they promote DV and mental abuse. Some are skits and most is real life. They are now presenting children on there while doing this abuse. And I do not believe it is good for the fan base they have as I'm very sure most of it is a younger based audience. I would like some change to happen for this please they need cps called on them asap and if cps hasn't done anything about the situation they have failed the system and they have failed their kids no kids should be around dv even if it is a skit why this petition matters i am a victim of the scams perpetrated by laura najum and gnarly morales on tiktok these individuals have exploited the trust of innocent people including myself making a mockery of those who generously gift them out of sympathy they further degrade our community by creating fake domestic violence skits trivializing a serious issue that affects many worldwide. According to the FTC, in 2020 alone, consumers reported losing more than $3.3 billion to fraud, an increase from $1.8 billion in 2019. The rise in social media scams is particularly alarming, with platforms like TikTok becoming hotbeds for such activities. Laura Nigel and Gnarly Morales are part of this growing problem with social media platforms. Their actions not only cause financial harm, but also emotional distress to their victims, who are often and left feeling betrayed and ridiculed. We need to ensure that these platforms remain safe spaces for everyone, free from exploitation and deceitful practices like those employed by Laura Nadrum and Gnarly Morales. By signing this petition, you will be taking a stand against scammers on social media platforms like TikTok. You will be supporting victims like me who have been affected by their actions while also sending a clear message that such behavior is unacceptable. So this is very serious. The people that were part of this community were hurt and they would like to raise awareness on this. And if you would like to sign this petition, I will have the link to it down in the description below. Now for a brief history on how they actually got to here. They actually started out on a YouTube channel called Keeping Up With The Nigums, where they have 500,000 subscribers. And originally it started out with Laura and this young lady above me, Michaela. They were in a relationship and they would do these skits where it made it look like Laura was cheating on her with other girls, with one of these girls being gnarly. Now, eventually Michaela got out of the relationship because she saw how toxic it was and she actually releases a video where she talks about the whole relationship and how she got out of it and what exactly happened but i'll put this in my description if you would like to know more about this and how it all came to but she uploaded this video called expose the truth about laura with receipts on her youtube channel called dom family where from what i understand it's more family based content and not this dv skit stuff but long story short she got out the relationship because she saw how toxic it was and there is some deep stuff going on there as well some really toxic stuff that happened between Michaela and Laura but this is just an example of how these skits that they're calling them become a reality and recently gnarly uploaded a video on her TikTok saying that she had a miscarriage she was carrying twins and had a miscarriage and obviously if this is real that's very very sad but if it's a skit that's nothing to be joking about that is horrible to joke about but it leaves their audience in a state of confusion 
confusion and they don't know what to believe with some people on reddit saying this as someone who lost a child i'm absolutely sickened that they put the skit on and people still support it and how the mother's even in on it all this for some money and absolutely disgusting and heartbreaking and anyone who supports this behavior you're a disgusting individual yourself i am absolutely disgusted and can't watch it anymore they have fake dv and now this it's absolutely effing sick i'm sure they went to the hospital and acted like she was wasn't feeling good or something just so they could get this video and the wristband to make their skit more believable i don't know how other women can literally sit here and subscribe and gift her i never understood it but this is absolutely disgusting it's gone way too far and just to backtrack as she said laura's mom is in on this this is laura's mom's account with 167 000 followers and she's in a lot of their videos as well where you can see her siding with gnarly and saying to support gnarly go support her and basically it's just another funnel to get people to go in and send money to her everyone here i guess you are so how gnarly she's been acting the last couple of days bleaching her hair her hair is falling acting very strange which i have told her personal do not do that your hair is gonna fall she did not listen but i know she's going through a breakdown that's why i couldn't control her at that point all i'm asking from everyone instead of yell talk just support her show her love show her support we all need that at this point but i guarantee everyone norali after that she's gonna come very strong person for herself for her kids and for anyone who will try to destroy her one more time i'm not gonna show the video of her talking about the miscarriage she has a lot of videos on it and if you want to check that out you're more than welcome to go check it out and judge for yourself if it's real or not but if it is real i do not want to be putting that in this video this person had this to say the fact that they are going this far is crazy however if it is true they are even more crazy for being on social media and sharing all the details including pictures of blood instead of processing the loss of a child i think they are crazier than we think if this is really true and they are giving the public front row seats to their children's death this would be a moment of privacy and social media and views would be way 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 in the back burner as i deal with real life stuff such as a miscarriage i know we already know they aren't normal but this might qualify for some actually psychotic and just proves that there is no limit or boundaries to what they are willing to do for views i feel like i'm watching an episode of black mirror waiting for the crazy turn of events and then there's the videos of them flaunting how much money they have which i find to be very weird considering the type of content they're posting oh my bad my bad i ain't see out there i ain't see out there i ain't even see out there money flying money flying because i got a lot of it for my baby daddy sure do i got a lot of guac for my baby daddy and this just some slight this is a little extra that i put in there for my baby daddy's next payment Next payment. Yes, because y'all know I pay my baby daddy to be with me. Sure do. A lot of y'all be saying, oh, your baby daddy ruined you. Your baby daddy ruined you. How? Make this make sense. Make this make sense. How can a person ruin you? How can a person you love ruin you? I love my baby. And they even got the mom flaunting some money too. Now, I do want to say that I only lightly touched on some of the content that they create. There's a lot of content on their page that verifies everything that I'm saying here. So if you want to go check it out yourself, you're more than welcome to. But with that said, I hope I informed you in some way and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Patreons, thank you for all the support and I'll see y'all in the next video.